NASA returns to the moon, NASA payloads are on course for the moon as the commercial company Intuitive Machines makes their attempt at the first American lunar touchdown in more than 50 years. The mission, dubbed IM-1, will be attempting to send the 675-kilogram Odysseus lander into space on board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket during a three-day window starting on February 14th at 12.57 a.m. Eastern and ending on the 16th. America are on their way to the moon. A private company, strangely enough funded by NASA, there's a lunar rover on top of a SpaceX rocket that's currently hurtling towards the moon. What a silly, desperate charade. One mission launched on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. Flight controllers on our red, white, and blue teams have been learning more about the lander and how to efficiently fly the mission to return the United States to the surface of the moon. You would have thought NASA, who have supposedly been to the moon and are funding this so-called private company would have given them some hints and tips regarding their previous so-called visits. But no, it's just a regurgitated charade, a pathetic one, where NASA supply the data to the company that are, they're funding that's supposedly private, they also supply the imagery. <laughs> These boys in the control room, who look incredibly bored, looking at these numbers, but are being paid handsome, therefore won't question any of it. And of course we'll think they've landed on the moon or whatever. And this is how this silly charade works. Just naive, gullible people believe in this tosh, not having any discernment whatsoever. Gotta say, mate, your Earth, your globe Earth there is looking a bit squidgy and egg like. These images are only a few of what our Nova C class lunar lander actually is sent to Houston. It takes a lot of planning, work, Ridiculous. and a little bit of luck to get images like these. Payload integration managers program the lander's wide and narrow field of view cameras to take five quick images every five minutes for two hours starting 100 seconds after separating from SpaceX's second stage. So, what we actually got back to Earth looks something like this. Out of all these images, the ones we chose to show humanity... Ah, epileptic tosh, where you show something that is impossible, the globe Earth, and flash it at us, and then claim a result. Yeah, great.
insane. And the fact they get away with this is just fantastic nowadays. It's just a, it's an amazing thing about the world. After a few days, the first images and videos allegedly being sent back from the moon reached NASA, and the following footage is what they released to the public. Many of you can tell just by looking that this is not genuine and is clearly CGI, but many others will swear until they are blue in the face that this is authentic footage. The reality is, though, that it is easily proven to be fake, doctored footage with just a little knowledge of video editing software. By adjusting the brightness and contrast levels, and gradually removing the hues that comprise black from the background, small square artifacts begin to appear around the objects in the video. As you can see, the Earth, Moon, and Craft all have these markings, which are only present in doctored footage. In real, genuine, authentic footage, without any manipulation or editing, these artifacts will not appear anywhere no matter how you adjust the hues, brightness, or contrast. This is a clear smoking gun against NASA, but not the first time they have been exposed for the same trick. The many Earthrise images NASA has released since the Apollo times up to present day have been analyzed and criticized for the exact same kind of fakery. Unfortunately, this important information continues to be swept under the conspiracy theory carpet by the manipulated masses, while charlatan organizations like NASA receive endless amounts of undue praise and tax money. You literally have to be a risk taker to believe in the globe and space at this point in time. And when I say space, they claim these rockets and space stations are in a vacuum, okay? They claim that they've left the air pressure system of Earth and gone to this place of a vacuum. For that to be real and happening, these rockets and spacecraft would have needed to have gone for a solid wall. The solid wall would need to be there to separate the air pressure system from the vacuum of so-called space. Fact, not an opinion, a scientific fact, one that proves this it's just a silly charade anyway. Then they show you the globe, you know, is Tosh. You just look at the anyway, it's just regurgitated Tosh. And then what they actually show you is like an epileptic nightmare. On the heat infinity technology. Yeah, yeah, whatever. By now, you should have cameras set up on the moon, filming 24-7, all over the moon. And of course, no one's been to the moon, and the Earth's not a ball. Fact. That's why we have to entertain regurgitated tosh like what we just experienced here. Several days later. Tonight, history is made in Space City. Nearly 55 years after Neil Armstrong took the first steps on the moon, a Houston company called Intuitive Machines has put a lander on the lunar surface. Now to a historic moment in the making. It just happened within the last 30 minutes. A private company landed the first U.S. spacecraft on the moon in over 50 years. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. The craft's rangefinders weren't working. Odysseus, or Odie as it's been nicknamed, used its experimental LIDAR navigation, which allows it to land autonomously without communication from Earth. The time came and went, and the team on Earth still hadn't made communication with the craft. Minutes later, a faint signal from Odie was detected, and the crew on Earth was able to confirm it had made it. Uh, what an outstanding effort. I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the, si on the surface and we are transmitting and uh, welcome to the moon. So this mission is bringing a few NASA instruments down to the moon.
if you're not coming down exactly the way you plan, if you're tilted one way or the other a little bit, if your antennas are pointed off just a little bit, then the communication signal is going to miss the Earth by, by many miles. So uh, it took a minute for them to reestablish communications, but they did, and they showed that they uh, landed successfully, and it was transmitting data. So that was great to see.